understand that we experience emotion, but in a way that's different than how you experience emotion. Understand that your emotions, generally speaking, come from your belief systems. So understand what you consider to be human emotions are experiences that are limited to the physical reality because physical reality is created through belief systems and belief systems create the idea of what you consider to be the emotions you experience in physical reality. Now, that doesn't mean feelings and emotions aren't experienced on other levels. The feelings and emotions on other levels simply arise from a different place in relationship to your consciousness than the feelings and emotions that you experience in physical reality. Because in spirit, belief systems are not utilized. Knowingness is utilized. And the knowingness of who and what you are generates states that you consider to be ecstasy, joy, bliss, passion, unconditional love, excitement etc. So that type of feeling state is what we as Sasani perpetually feel. So understand that we have feelings, we have emotions, but they're different than yours because they're not based upon belief systems. They're based upon knowingness. And this is one of the reasons why when your gurus go into their states of enlightenment, they feel bliss, they feel passion that transcends any experience they've had before. Because in those moments of enlightenment, they are raising their frequency to a level that transcends the human perspective. They are raising their frequency to be in resonance with the frequency of their own soul. So they experience the feeling states that are connected to the knowingness of the soul rather than the feeling states that are based off of the belief systems of the physical mind. Now, the belief systems of the physical mind that are positive, that express themselves as positive feelings, can be used to assist you in aligning with your knowingness. So you can experience the same types of feelings that we as Sasani feel. That's available to you. That's why positive beliefs are so important. They dial you into your true nature so you can develop a knowingness of your true nature so you can experience the feelings of bliss and love that we feel, that the hybrid children feel. Now, the hybrid children are a little different than us because they are, in that sense, more human than we are. And they have a unique scenario where they use a blend of both belief systems as well as knowingness to experience and create their realities. So they have human emotion, just as you do. It is more positive, generally speaking, than yours is because they are living among us and the Ayel. So they are constantly exposed to our knowingness and our positive frequencies. So their belief systems are very much more positive than your collective. So they, on a human level, experience more positive emotions. And because they are exposed to our knowingness, they also, in that sense, experience the positive feelings associated with the knowingness that relates to one's true self. So in terms of what and how the hybrid children feel, that is a very comprehensive description. And understand that if you wish to have an expectation, you can expect that if you like. And we remind you that even though your expectation may look like something very specific in your head, it's all right to relax your expectations so you can experience a reality that surpasses the expectation that you are using. Because remember, expectations will only take you so far. They barely scratch the surface of the reality that is, which is why we often recommend that you do not utilize expectation at all.